Polish Maritime Technology Forum at uh, Employers Association, which was founded uh, just one year will be on the 26th March. First one is traditional offshore, which is oil and gas. And actually our association were not much involved in that. We are orientated to the future, which is offshore with our mission, uh, uh, specifically is, is uh, wind offshore. We are a member of uh, uh, Waterborne TP, Waterborne Technological Platform, because we are very much orientated on the future, which is, let's say, zero emission and wind operation as well. The biggest strength is that we survive, even there were different ups and downs in the maritime sector for the couple of last years. And if you look for uh, turnover for the sector, is steadily growing up. In Europe, we do not any longer produce uh, typical cargo ships, different cargo, like a bar carrier or, or LNG and so on, so on, so on, which is now uh, moved to Far East, China, Korea. What is in Europe? In Europe is a huge amount of orders for uh, cruisers. Second are the niche market, like uh, specialized ships, for instance, Arctic vessels, uh, expedition vessels, and things like that. But what is typical for, for, for Polish companies, our Polish shipyards, are uh, fishing ships, also ferries. We, this is as well our strain called. We are, let's say, uh, design volley for maritime technology project for whole Europe and not only for Europe. And what is a little bit unique for Europe is that the Polish designers, they have the close connection very well and tight to production units for shipyards. We already are here. And already Poland is, is I would dare to say, leader in, in Europe for building wind installation uh, vessels. And we can offer them our experience, our skills, and uh, history of deliveries, background for what, what did it 